Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. You can give us a call 952-540-9000. Uh, you're welcome to set up a, a, an appointment by calling us 952-540-9000. We do prefer appointments, just helps us schedule our days a little bit better. Also, we keep our vehicles inside, so it gives us time to move them around. Um, so walk-ins are uh, okay, but we'd prefer you to make an appointment. Um, anyways, this is a 2008 FJ Cruiser. It is a manual transmission. Pretty clean, relatively clean for the year and the miles. These are becoming more and more popular just because they're becoming harder to find. So their values are going up. Uh, this one has pretty good service history on the Carfax. It's originally an East Coast vehicle. Looks like it spent about the last three to four years in North Carolina. So it was away from salt at least for that time. It looks like it was probably factory undercoated, so the frame actually is pretty clean, which we'll look at in a little bit here. The front end uh, headlights are pretty clear. I think someone might have uh, blacked out the Toyota emblem, it kind of looks like, at one point in time. Hood is decently clean, it does have a little bit of rock chipping here, um, and then it has like some slight... I've never seen this on a Toyota, but I suppose it's from uh, potentially from the sun. There's a little bit of, uh, there's like little hairline, little cracks kind of. Jeeps get this actually. Um, not, not terribly like concerning, it's not going to like crack off. It's just something like with a clear coat I think. I don't know, I'm not a paint and body guy, but. But it does have that on the hood. Um, of course it is a what, 13, 14, 15 year old vehicle. It's got TRD wheels. Uh, TRD off-road wheels, you can see right there, which are the Toyota, uh, Toyota Racing Development. Hand-cooked Dynapros, tread depth looks excellent on them. You can see plenty of tread life left, looks like they're probably newer, new-ish. We didn't put them on, but... Oh yeah, all of our vehicles are fully inspected by a third-party mechanic shop. Before being put online. You're welcome to have them inspected and we do uh, offer aftermarket warranties for an additional purchase price. Those are always usually stapled to the Carfax when you come in and look at the vehicle. Let's go over the interior here. It's relatively clean. It smells like a non-smoker vehicle. Um, not really any sign of pet stuff, but I can't really tell. Um, yeah, you don't really see like any pet hair or anything like that, so. Looks like the interior of an FJ. I get a little bit of uh, the rubber floor, so you get a tiny bit of wear there. A little bit of wear on the front of the seat, but... Seats are clean, no rips or tears. I'll show you this now. This bottom seat folds up, and then this here folds flat. So you get all this cargo space in the rear gate there. That one, of course, folds down too, so... It's easier to do this single seat while I have a phone in my hand. It looks generally pretty free of rust. I wouldn't call it rust free by any means. Uh, I'll show you the frame at the, like after I'm done showing you the inside here. For those don't, who don't know, there's a little handle on the inside here. You just pull it towards you. That's how this opens. It's actually a pretty smart design. I guess, I suppose, four-door pickups, uh, extended cab pickups have that as well, so. Then TRD wheels, tires are in good shape. Sneak peek at the frame here. You can usually tell a lot about a Toyota by looking at the frame in this area. It's pretty clean. Looks like it was factory undercoated originally, so I think that kept it clean in the New York area. Uh, same size spare has a trailer hitch here. Not sure if that's factory. It looks like it might be an aftermarket one. Um, it does have parking sensors, which are right here. So they beep when you get close to stuff. So yeah, again on the back here, it's got the rubber mat as well. Like I said, those fold down, so plenty of room for cargo and stuff. A very utilitarian vehicle, I would say.
and the door jam is pretty clean. Bottoms of the door is pretty clean too. Nothing like we see around here. Oh yeah, headliner, forgot to show you that. The paint condition other than on the hood is relatively good. Um, let's see if I can find anything defects wise here. A couple little like little scratches here and there, like little scuffs. A couple on that one too. It's got the door edge guard on here, that's what that yellowish color is. I thought I could show you the underside too. Super clean. We didn't undercoat it or anything. That looks like it looks like factory undercoating, although it could have been done professionally by uh, an aftermarket shop. But if you look like the rear axle and everything, pretty decent. Of course, you get a little bit like on this trailer hitch here. The only thing I really do paint are trailer hitches like this one. I'll probably paint up a little bit just because I kind of like the look of a, that clean look. Do it to my own vehicles too. A little scratch on this corner. And then someone might have painted this black. I don't remember if those come black or it's just a little bit sun beat there. Interestingly enough, this one came without a roof rack, but there are rail spots for it. Another spot to look is right under here. That looks pretty good as well. Alright, start it up here. Show you the engine bay and the interior. Rocking out. Uh, so this one has 145, 456 on it. Of course, the miles will change as people test drive it. Um, it has Augs down there, has the locking rear diff, here's your park assist, turn on and off. Uh, AC works because I got it on right now, rear defrost. Pretty basic as far as options, uh, it is four wheel drive, it is a six speed manual transmission. Fun to drive of course because it's a manual, it does have cruise control which some manuals don't. Uh, brake lights on because I have the e-brake on seatbelt lights on because I don't have a seatbelt on. Uh, it's got a clutch uh, start cancel here so if you put that on you can start it without pressing the clutch in technically. Must go off maybe when you start it or something like that. I don't know. I haven't tested that yet but that's how it's supposed to work. Power windows, power locks. This one has just the key with it right now. I'm not sure if this one came with a fob or not. Uh, I mean from the factory. Let's see here. Or from the, yeah, from the factory or the original dealer. So my phone does pick up uh, like small valve train noise, so it'll sound a lot tickier than it made in person. When you hear like the fuel injectors and the valves, uh, excuse me, opening and closing. Looks pretty decent under here. Again, not 100% house free because it's got you know, a little bit of stuff. But the most important thing on a uh, Toyota product is the frame. And we looked at that and it's pretty good. So, so that is the 2008 FJ. Appreciate your time today. Have a great day.